Today we're going to learn to solve absolute value equations. Absolute value is how far a number is from the number zero. The absolute value symbol are two up and down lines with a number in between. The absolute value of negative three is asking you how far is negative three from zero. And negative three to zero is three spaces. If we look at the absolute value of positive three, positive three is also three spaces from zero, which means the absolute value of negative three and three are equal. An absolute value equation has the variable inside the absolute value symbol. Ask yourself the absolute value of what number is equal to 7. There are two possible answers. x could have a value of 7, or if we go on the other side of the number line, x could also have a value of negative 7. As we look at some of these other examples, think in your head what would the answers be? So if the absolute value of x is 8, what values could x have? x could have a value of 8 or of negative 8. If the absolute value of x is 5, x could have a value of 5 or negative 5. And it doesn't matter if we have whole numbers or fractions or decimals. The absolute value of x is 7 tenths. That means we could have two values, 7 tenths or negative 7 tenths. How is this one different? This one asks you the absolute value of x is negative 6. What number has an absolute value of negative 6? The absolute value of 6 is 6, and the absolute value of negative 6 is also 6. And what that means is there isn't a number that has an absolute value that's equal to negative 6. So there's no solution. So when you have a negative number on this side, there are no solutions. So a quick review. The absolute value of x equals 3 has two solutions. Can you name them? The two solutions would be 3 and negative 3 because each one is three spaces from zero. And if we have the absolute value of x equaling a negative number, there are no solutions. If we move on, this time we actually have to solve an equation. So when we look at this, we're asking ourselves the absolute value of what is equal to seven. There are two answers, 7 or negative 7, which means for this we're going to write two equations. The first one using the positive 7, and we're going to take what's inside the absolute value symbol and set that equal to positive 7. We're also going to use, we could also have a value of negative 7. So if we set that equation equal to negative 7, that's our second equation. So our two solutions would be 11 and negative 3. Let's try another one. This time the absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to 12, which means there's two numbers that we could take the absolute value of and get 12. They're 12 and negative 12. So we're going to set what's inside the absolute value symbol equal to positive 12, and we're going to set it equal to negative 12. And then we're going to solve each one of those equations. So when we subtract 3, we get 9. And when we subtract 3 from the negative, we get negative 15. 